Well, hello there guys. As you can tell from the title, I'm going to be talking about newborn must-haves from a minimalist perspective. Um, so I'm about to be a mom of three, which is crazy in November. Um, and this time around, I'm actually reshopping for everything because we need newborn stuff. And so I went into it with our like new mindset of minimalism, where with my girls, we hadn't really started that lifestyle yet. We're definitely not fully there yet, but comparatively to the rest of society, we are minimalists. And so this time when I went into it making my list of things that we needed for this baby, I went into it very differently. Um, and I went into it as a mom who's already been through this twice, semi-recently since I have a three and two year old. And so I feel like I might have some good tips for you guys um, on what you really need for your newborn and some of the things that I found super helpful for my girls um, and what I'm getting this time around for this baby. Some of it I'll be showing you guys in person. Some of it will be pictures. I originally was gonna do this video a little bit down the road, but the video plan for today, I needed a piece of furniture to come in to film that video and it was out of stock. So I'm doing this video now instead, but that's okay. Let's hop right into it and let's talk about all of the newborn must-haves from a minimalist perspective. Okay, so we'll get the first one out of the way and it is the one I've talked about on my vlog channel and that is zip up sleepers, especially having um, babies in the winter time. And I actually tried these specific ones, the Burt's Bees zip up sleepers with Aerie and I loved them. They are just stretchy, they're super soft, they're also organic cotton. Um, and so this time around I was like, I'm getting a billion of these. So I'm not gonna show you all the ones I have. I'm gonna do like a baby haul in the near future for you guys. But these zip up sleepers are a must must have. Um, forget the snaps, get rid of them. They're a waste of time. I can't even count the number of times I would get almost to the top and I'd do the last snap and realize that I forgot one somewhere else. And some people worry about like zippering up their kids, but the key to that, to not zipping up your kid's skin, is to put your finger behind the zipper and pull up. And then you will not zipper your children's skin. But when you're half asleep and trying to deal with snaps, it just ain't worth it for diaper changes. Okay, so next up is these kimono style little onesies. Um, so these I particularly like for the hospital. So the hospital with the girls, they put just these plain little t-shirts on, um, kimono style t-shirts, so it didn't have this like bottom part. And the reason that the hospital likes these kimono style ones is because they can easily unsnap and do their like regular um, checks every couple hours for the baby without having to completely undress. So not only for the hospital having my own with this bottom portion was nice, but also just getting them on newborns, not having to put it over their head, super easy highly recommend having some of these so that's really all I'm gonna get into for clothes really in the newborn stage my kids just live in sleepers but I always make sure to have a pack of just onesies and plain pants too coming from minimalists I want to make sure that there's no like super crazy patterns so that I can easily interchange them and then having a good quality plain hat I just have a pink one and a white one on my list to get um, I think that those are great. Okay, so now we're just gonna get out of the clothes and into the more fun and interesting things. First up is a bath support. I had one of the little sink like blossom bloom things. I just kind of found it to be a pain in the butt. I was always worried about mold if I didn't like wring it out enough. And so with Rev, I discovered a little later on the Angel Care bath support. I personally just found that to be the best. It wasn't the most comfortable for my back and my knees. However, I found it very difficult to like give my kids a full clean when they were getting baths in the sink. I just didn't like it. And like the big separate baby baths were just huge. And so I really found that that little bath support was kind of like a happy medium between the two. And then another bath thing for you guys is hooded towels, but not just any hooded towels. I had, you know, those little baby hooded towels for the girls and they were tiny. They would not keep them warm. There just wasn't enough fabric. So I highly suggest investing in getting one of the bigger, thicker hooded towels. You really only need one per kid. Both of our girls have one. We just wash them every couple baths. I found this one on Amazon, which I will let you guys know what I think about it. This is the one that I'm planning on getting for this little girl. Um, it looks like it's big and thick like a normal towel and it will actually keep her warm and it can last her through her toddler years. Okay, next up, swaddles. I cannot say this one enough. Swaddles are good for so many freaking things from obviously swaddling your baby, nursing covers, car seat covers, blankets just to put on them, you know, when they're in the car seat or when they're just kind of hanging out in the in the swing or whatever it may be. 
um, they have so many uses. I particularly like the Aiden and Anais brand. I found that they were just very stretchy. I will say Aiden and Anais is a little bit pricey. You know, I still have a bunch of them that went through both of the girls and they still look brand new. So moving on to some of the bigger baby items, definitely a co-sleeper was huge for us. If you are breastfeeding especially, um, even if you're not having baby in your room those first couple months, just makes things so much easier. In particular, we use the in-arms reach co-sleepers. I just like how sturdy they are. Um, a lot of the other kind of co-sleepers I found were just a little bit too small. This time we are going with the mini arc, um, which is a little bit smaller than their standard one, but it's still very roomy in comparison to some of the other ones. So baby can fit in it a little bit longer, more comfortably. Next up, and some like real extreme minimalists may be like, but you don't need one of those. But for me, it was like a life safer in some on some days especially if you have multiple kids and that is a baby swing or a glider i found that my kids liked gliders best i know a lot of people paid for like them super fancy mama roos that do like all these crazy type of things but the gliding ones that go like backwards and forwards my kids love them. So this time, because we had to buy a new one anyways, we actually ended up getting the Rockaroo. So it's like the Mamaroo brand, the Four Moms brand, but it's the Rockaroo, so it just goes backwards and forwards. So I'm hoping that that one will be a winner like our last one, but the one that we had with the girls was this. Um, it's the Graco Glider LX, I think. Um, our girls loved it and I would have gotten it again, but the footprint was just a little bit bigger than what I would like. I wanted something a little smaller um, and minimalist. So we decided to try something out, something different this time. But um, my like, sure, if you don't mind the size of it at all, go with this, it's great. And it's less expensive than getting the rocker root. Okay. So the next thing I'm going to mention is a changing pad of some sort. Um, I know a lot of moms found that they are a waste, but for me, we had ours in our, in our room. So what we're gonna be getting is a dresser, a small dresser that's gonna go on this wall right here since we have room. Um, and then there's gonna be a changing pad and that's where all of baby's stuff will be. I just find it easier to keep the home clean when you're changing baby and doing everything all in one location. And so when my kids are younger, I do use the changing pad every single day, almost at every change. So whichever type you choose to go with, personally this time I'm gonna go with one of the firmer ones that can be easily wiped down um, so I don't have to have multiple covers or any cover on it. Um, I'm gonna get the Bumbo one this time, so this is what it looks like. It's a less expensive option of that like peanut shaped one that you've seen that's like 120 bucks. The Bumbo one is very similar in material wise, um, but it's just less expensive. Going along with that, I do think that a diaper pail is essential um, just to not have a smelly house. <laughs> but with that said, the ones that I really like, and we actually already have two of them in our house, one in our kids' bathroom, one downstairs, um, is the Decor brand. I like them a lot because you can use regular trash bags with them, but they also have like the child lock on them and stuff, um, and it does keep the odor in there. We have a mini and a plus size. They have like three different sizes. Um, and this time I'm probably just gonna get like the classic in between one. So next up is something I'm excited to try out this time. This is something that I haven't actually gotten to try yet. Um, and it is the bottle type that I'm going with. So I really wanted to go from a minimalist perspective, like I said, and I found that they have the kits to make mason jars into bottles. And the reviews on these were amazing. They look very similar, the nipple looks like this. It looks very similar to um, the Komotomo ones. And so I just love the idea of being able to just use the mason jars we already have. Um, you just can get a silicone sleeve so it's easier to hold on to. I am planning to breastfeed again this time. Um, so obviously it won't be like an all the time use, but I do like for my kids to take a bottle. The reviews, like I said, were amazing and there were a lot of other breast feeding moms on there that said that their kids really liked them. Next up, pacifiers. I definitely do think that pacifiers are a must um, for us. Personally, my kids didn't have any nipple confusion issues with them. I am not the mom that wants to be the pacifier. I'm just not. I like for my parts to still be my parts as much as they can. <laughs> this time around, I am hoping to try out a more of a natural rubber one. Um, so I'm hoping that baby will like them. So these are the two that I'm gonna try out. Really what's key is getting like two to three different kinds for your baby to try out though. The ones that I used with both the girls that they really liked were the MAM newborn ones. I found that the actual newborn sized ones, not like zero to six, but the zero to two or zero to three, which is specifically designed for newborn mouths. Those were the ones my kids wanted to take. Next up is the Boppy. So 
so I actually really liked using the bobby for nursing it just took a lot of the strain off my back and my arms my husband really liked it just for feeding to cuddle the girls or whatnot um, and then for later on I really like it for when they're learning to sit up because it can you know go around them but I do not like it as like a prop up I just find that the, my kids looked uncomfortable in it which is why I highly highly like this is one of my biggest newborn must-haves <laughs> and that is the newborn boppy lounger here you can see it looks just like the boppy but the in there's like a filled inside this was huge for us my kids loved it we took it with us if, if we went to grandparents so they could just sit and hang out with it this was literally one of our most used things um and i literally i can't even say enough good things about it highly recommend definitely get one next one is simple and goes without saying burp cloths this time i'm trying the green sprout ones out um i don't need to go into detail whether you're breastfeeding or not babies spit up you should have burp cloths <laughs> so going along with the breastfeeding is having a manual pump of some sort so if you're in the u.s chances are that your insurance covers your double electric pump definitely go ahead and get that it's covered but you will want a manual pump of some sort this time i'm going to try out a silicone pump or it's called like a haka i believe is how you say it um i've heard really good things so i'm going to try that out this time but i use my manual pump more than i thought i would sometimes i just need to like relieve a little bit of it but not full-on pump um or if i'm going to be somewhere where there's no electricity or if your electricity goes out and you really need to pump for some reason having a manual pump is just very helpful next up baby carriers so i love the baby Katan. I tried getting one with Rev and I could not figure it out for the life of me. Um, and so I gave up on that one quick and I had the Ergo and which worked really well for her. Um, but I decided to give the KTN a try again when I gave birth to Aerie. I wish that I had tried harder to figure it out and really just watched the videos <laughs> with Rev because it was, it's amazing. I love it. Um, it doesn't stretch out and so, you know, it stays in the right form fitted way that it needs to be actually i do have that i could have showed you that if you're into like the wrap kind of feel but you're overwhelmed by all the excess fabric the baby gay tan is great just make sure to watch the videos or you will be confused <laughs> okay and then i have the diaper bag so you're gonna see this you're gonna say ariana that's not cute no no it's not cute to your husband it will be so cute well not cute but they will love it tactical diaper bags guys i cannot express enough how amazing a tactical diaper bag is give up the look of your diaper bag and just get one in fact it will make your husband actually want to carry the diaper bag all the time which is not a bad thing this is what the tactical backpack looks like we used my husband's other one the brand that we have is 511 tactical they are expensive but they last a really long time because they're tactical backpacks. These are designed for, you know, military or police or people that are really gonna be using these bags a lot. So they have the durability. So they're worth the money in my opinion. We had the 24 hour version and it was just a little bit too big. So this time I wanted to get the 12 hour one, which is this one. So what I love is they have the Molly system on here which you can easily actually hook handled sippy cups onto. Toys can easily hook onto it. And because it has the mollies, they have attachments. So if you want additional attachments for your bag. So this opens up very far here. You will see it has like all these little zipper compartments. There's just so many things. It has, you know, this zipper compartment up here. There's another one up here, which this is my favorite spot to put snacks in. Um, it's pretty deep too, so we keep snacks up there. Just get one. I know it's not cute and it may not be what you have in mind, but I never lose things in here and everything has its own place. They're just nice to have and they're durable, like I said, the last. Okay, another thing is a play gym. This might be something that some minimalists will say, oh, you definitely don't need it. And yes, you could get by with it, but I do find it's that one of those just little extra things that's very helpful. Um, it's good to keep your kids, you know, minds moving and stuff like that. And so I've used it from a very young age, especially with the newborn lounger, but we get one of the wooden ones that you can like replace the toys on it. You use the little plastic links and you can just put whatever toy you want on it so you can constantly switch it out because a lot of the like typical activity gyms out there it's just you know stationary what's on there is what's on there um, and you can't change them out but with the wooden ones they're designed so you can switch out the toys I will put on the screen here some of the other like few toys that I have on my list to get for her there's really not many just a couple things for her to like grasp onto um, a little natural teether for her to chew on um, so nothing totally crazy but you know just a couple things to keep her mind working keep her attention if she's in the car seat um, a lot of these can be hooked to the activity gym actually or just for her to grasp onto and hold herself I will have all of this stuff linked down below for you guys So if you want to know where to get it, that is all I have for you guys I probably forgot something because of the fact that I planned 
to do this later on and ended up doing it right now. If I remember it while I'm editing or whatnot, I will just add it down in the description box for you guys. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Let me know what is your newborn must have. Is there something that you found that was super helpful for you? Is there something I mentioned that you also loved and used with your kids when they were newborns? Let me know in the comments and I will see all of your wonderful faces next week. Bye.